it's Friday evening at Wolf Tones Hurling Club in Edwardstown and their senior hurling team are preparing for their crucial showdown in the Longford Senior Hurling Final. The players are putting in their final training session before Sunday's highly anticipated clash with reigning champions Slashers. We had a chance to speak with Wolf Tones manager John Lynham who has been instrumental in guiding the team to this point. Lynham, visibly calm but focused, knows the magnitude of the challenge ahead, but remains confident in his side's ability. Well, I don't see it being much more than the puck of a ball in the match, to be honest. Um, that's, we've played slashers a couple of times this year and that's all it's ever been. So I think it'll be a tight game. I don't think any team's going to run away with it. Um, they're very strong, they're very fast, they're very good, they're well coached by Nile. Uh, but on our side, I'll say that we're, we're in the same boat. You know, the two teams is, there's, there's, there's not going to be a lot between the two teams. Mm. So it'll just be the hungrier team will win on the day. There was a huge effort put in by the lads, absolute massive effort put in by the lads. They've made training, they've trained on their own, they've done everything they can, and look, at they're, they're reaping the rewards now of making a final, so, yeah, you know. How will you call it on Sunday, obviously? I'm sure, how do you think I'm going to call it? <laughs> <laughs> and if, if you're calling it for uh, Mostrum uh, or Wolf Tones, what sort of a margin? As I said, the few games we played has only been puck of the ball. Mm. I think it'll be down to the wire. I really do think it'll be... It'll be... Uh, one puck of the ball, a point, be it a point, be it a goal. It'll be a, a little bit of luck maybe on one side be it ours or theirs. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot to separate the two teams from what I've seen the few times we've played them. So it'll really be down to the wire, I think. Um, look, at, there's one thing I know anyway. You have a 50-50 chance that we'll be talking to you after the match as uh, the winning manager. I'd say 70-30. When you went to Mel's, was there a hurling team then? Yeah, we won, a, we won an underage title at Mel's. And was John Boland in charge? John Boland was in charge, ah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. John was in charge, yeah. yeah. Nice man. Did he, did he give you any new insight into the game or any special skills or yeah. manoeuvres? Or? Yeah, he told us not to lose or we'd get detention. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, isn't that, isn't that a good, as good a way as any uh, of uh, coaching? Lynham's determination is echoed by his players and none more so than Cahill Milan, a key figure in Wolf Tone's campaign this year. The talented hurler, who has been pivotal in both attack and defence, shared his thoughts on what it means to be in the final and facing such formidable opponents. Yeah, look, Slashers have a, a good few lads in, in with the county team. You know, they'd be strong, strong down the middle. Like they have the Murray brothers, Johnny Casey, David Buckley, all, all good lads under there. It's going to be 15 of us against 15 of them. And As Milan and his teammates continue their drills, there's a sense of focus but also camaraderie on the field. Wolf Tones, a team with a rich history in Longford hurling, are determined to add a new chapter to their legacy. The players know they need every ounce of energy and skill to overcome a slasher slide that has dominated the championship in recent years.